And it's not going to be snowing here, but boy, it'll kind of feel like it by the end of the day. It, it will be cold enough that if we had precipitation of some sort, it would be snowing. And that would be like 70 morning. degrees right now. Wild. I know it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> so right now, a lot of you waking up some of you to some rain out there right now. That's where we'll start. And then I promise we'll get to the big cool down on the way. But you can see right now radar does have a bit of rain activity out there. This one band was producing some lightning earlier, now bringing some heavier rain heading towards Lafitte and of course the metro area as well with a few more of these showers near Laplace up on the North Shore. We got some heavy rain moving through parts of your area near a meet to the south and to the east and then all the way up north of Bogalusa as well with these little isolated showers popping up here and there a bit more rain heading towards the Slidell area and we saw a little bit move through Picayune as well. Here's the big picture though. This is all associated with a cold front and it as it moves through behind it cooler air moves on in. Yeah, check that out. There's a little bit of a wintry mix right now in Shreveport because the cool air is moving on in. 30 degrees right now in Shreveport. You can see the cold air has already already arrived to places like Alexandria and Lake Charles. But for us, we are still warm right now. The front has not passed through yet, and so we're still sitting with the warm air in the 70s outside right now. But the cold air will be moving in shortly and look how quickly temperatures drop. We drop into the 50s by the lunch hour, so you're already going to want to be dressed with some long sleeves. Good to go for lunchtime and then by dinner. 40s with wind chills in the 30s. So temperatures will be falling throughout the day today. To add insult to injury, we have a wind advisory. Winds wind gusts up to 30 miles an hour for all of you here in the shaded region. That's where the wind advisory is. That's in effect until 6 p.m. tonight. So of course, when the wind blows, it makes it feel even colder out there. And there's a gale warning in effect now all the way until 3 a.m. Monday morning. So overnight tonight sees 11 to 16 feet and at the lake two to five foot waves. So for the football game tonight or this afternoon, I should say kick off 325. If you're tailgating around lunchtime, well, we're already in the 50s. Remember kickoff middle 50s and then by the end of the game, 40s with wind chills in the 30s. The cool down doesn't stop there overnight tonight. We drop down towards freezing temperatures. There is a freeze warning in effect from 10 p.m. tonight until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Temperatures will be in the upper 20s and lower 30s with wind chills in the 20s for everyone. So make sure to protect your people. Go check on your neighbors. Make sure they have a way to stay warm. Your pets, they need to come inside, cover up your plants. And if you have any outdoor plumbing that's unprotected, that might need some extra care care too. So when it comes down to it, temperatures tonight, 20s to middle 30s, that freeze warning in effect. And again, wind chills tomorrow morning in the 20s for everyone. When you step out the door at this time tomorrow morning, that's what it will feel like. 25 degrees at the airport, 22 for Logo Lisa, perhaps. There's a look at your seven day forecast. Cold, cold air about to move on in. It will stick around Monday and Tuesday. A little bit of a warm up Wednesday, Thursday, and then chilly again by Friday. Lee, thank you. Well, it was